very, very happy. As COVID-19 vaccines are rolled out around the world, some have received some added focus because of something called messenger RNA technology. But the implications for this messenger RNA go way beyond just the current COVID-19 pandemic. Experts say that messenger RNA technology could be used to combat both emerging and existing viruses and diseases. But what exactly is mRNA and how does it work? mRNA is the code that transmits a message from our DNA to the part of the cell that makes proteins. In the case of the current mRNA vaccines, the cells of the body are essentially instructed on how to recreate the novel coronavirus's signature spike protein, which allows it to attach and infect cells. Antibodies can then be produced and will attach to the spike proteins of the real virus if a person gets infected, effectively stopping it from entering a cell. With the success of the coronavirus vaccines, scientists and healthcare professionals are looking at what might come next. The demonstration of how safe this platform has been in the context of the COVID-19 pandemic then further uh, provides confidence that this is a platform that, that can readily be adapted to other viruses because it, it does have this sort of plug and play capability. So the ease with which mRNA can be adapted to target, you know, almost anything, so long as you know what that target should be, is one of the major benefits of this type of vaccine. mRNA technology itself is not new. The speed these vaccines were created was partly due to years of studies and testing, including on diseases like influenza and Ebola. Matthew Miller says one of the most significant breakthroughs was finding a way to get the mRNA in the vaccine into the cell without the body attacking it through use of a lipid-based nanoparticle that allows it to slide into the cell and get to work. He says that same nanoparticle will likely be needed when it comes to future vaccines to potentially combat other illnesses and viruses. Infectious diseases physician Dr. Zane Chagla says the technology represents a step forward, but there can still be challenges. So you have to find the right target. Some viruses are you know, well programmed to evade what would be considered a vaccine response or by the time they're established, you know, where they establish themselves won't necessarily be triggered by vaccines appropriately, but it does give hope for sure. Chegla says mRNA could speed up the process for developing vaccines because you can go from identifying a virus protein to a workable vaccine much faster. You now have a platform where you can actually just give the, the instructions on how to make that protein and let the body actually do that work, right? So it's not it's not perfect, but again, it, that knowledge translation to an effective vaccine does get sped up with, with this model. Even as the COVID-19 pandemic continues, researchers are already hard at work looking to the future, and cancer is providing another potential target. And the reason that that, that works is because um, as happens in an infection where, you know, a foreign pathogen enters our body and our immune system recognizes it, when cells become cancerous, they mutate our proteins in a way that they don't naturally appear in our body, which makes the cancer stand out as unique to the immune system relative to other cells. And so we can use mRNA to teach our body what these, what are called tumor-associated antigens look like, and potentially then leverage our own immune system to help fight cancer. According to Miller, one improvement that could also help in fighting other diseases and viruses is providing several viral proteins in one vaccine, something he says could help engage more parts of the immune system and potentially make a vaccine more effective for a longer period of time. Chagla says working with virus proteins can sometimes be similar to finding the right key for a lock, but mRNA vaccines are different. Rather than having to deal with the key, we now basically are the in, injecting the locksmith in that sense. Uh, and that's really what the important part of this is, right? So you are making the key on site. You are actually able to, to generate that key using the body's responses, which means that those processes in the body that use proteins to generate immune response are done in the cell and nothing's lost along the way. That's really the, the difference here, right? One of the biggest results that could come from the success of the mRNA vaccines during the COVID-19 pandemic is not just the potential to fight other viruses and diseases, but the possibility that more facilities to produce them could be built. And with more manufacturing capacity, that could mean new vaccines could be rolled out globally even faster. Sean Prevel, Global News.
Thanks for watching Global News. If you want to stay up to date on all the latest breaking national and international news, be sure to subscribe to our channel.